do my do. My name's Marge. I'm Aoka. An empath. To the eat. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I just think it's fun to say. I mean, I know what nth means, and it doesn't fit, but in my mind, it does. Welcome to my doom. I made some notes, Ma, and I watched um, Dr. Ruth's doc documentary last evening, and uh, it's, you know, I talk about alignment and how, you know, alignment and all that, it's just a different word for things we have in common with people. Freaking, I never knew how much I had in common with Dr. Ruth, you know. I mean, not 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 just not having anything to do with her career as a sex therapist. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, she was a freaking sniper. She was trained as a sniper. I wasn't trained as a sniper. I'm just I was just I'm good at, at I'm good at target practice. Uh, marksman, Air Force marksman. Back there, he just shifted, so he's gonna start in my blanket. He's like a taco, <laughs> like a taco doll. Everybody's just all chill. I have a gnarly headache, so I got this tight, 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 tight to help, hopefully help, help with that. So it's the new moon. I misspoke when I mentioned it yesterday or the day before. I said full moon. I misspeak. It's the new moon in Gemini. <laughs> Aside from the headache, you know. So far, so good. Not worse for the wear. Um, so, I was talking to mom, you know, and she had said, and in, 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 or when we were watching uh, Dr. Ruth yesterday, and she, there was a point in time in the story that she said that she didn't see where she belonged in this world, or that there was no place for her. And I remember, uh, few times, uh, one time specifically, I had gotten a DUI on base when I was stationed at Offit, and, uh, I was, I, and, and I was looking at, uh, getting kicked out of the Air Force, and, and I was there because of bad decisions I made, so this, I just, just knew that, that this, that if I already get kicked out, that there is no place for me in this world. Um, I've never been a suicidal person never have I guess I've always known in my in my in my in my spirit that the consequences that of that and that this is kind of a show you know that yeah it gets painful and sometimes but we can we can create our joy just as much as we can create our misery so I once felt like there was no place in the world for me to go until I realized all the places were for me <laughs> they were just waiting for me get there <laughs> you know see we there's parts in this world that I've never been to so by all intents and purposes as far as I'm concerned they don't exist you know I'm not trying to be callous and stuff like this but we're kind of in the time of self-preservation here yeah you know we got to put our own masks on before we freaking help anybody else with theirs and right now it's important that people you know <clears throat> don't get too sucked down by the mire of negativity you know it's going to be a long, hard summer for a lot of people. We're going to see a lot of reports of a lot of devastation, a lot of natural disaster, a lot of loss. And this is cleansing for the earth. This is great cleansing for the earth. So, you know, because ain't nobody ever had a peace on earth. And we keep getting told what the tools that we need to create it. And there's always greed. And it always wins. Money always becomes more important. So peace on earth never happens. <clears throat> I grew up watching Dr. Dr. Ruth on talk shows and stuff. You know, talk shows used to be a lot different than they are now. I don't watch them anymore. It's just the personalities. They're very, <laughs> they lack personality, you know. Now, there's a couple that are, that are heartfelt, I'm sure, but most of them, you know, they're just talking about the stuff their boss is telling them to talk about it. Um, actually, tomorrow, June 4th, is, is, and I talk about, you know, timelines, because time travels in, like, the cosmos in a, in a spiral, and so, what goes around comes around, and for all the, you know, habits that we have, we have an opportunity to break them, you know, whether it's smoking, promiscuity, um, 
just more whatever is lacking in our you know the weakest chain in our moral our weakest link in our moral chain you know it's 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 uh, the astrology is making people look at it and <clears throat> the synchronicities are just so wild mom and I watched this yesterday and and um with Dr. Ruth and, and, and her birthday is tomorrow and her and tomorrow is also uh, the anniversary of Tannadum Square in 1989 see we don't get a lot of news about what happens in other places because they don't want people to know I that's why I'm all for full disclosure I think government should freaking you know it's by the people you know you need to full disclosure you know, you can't, you clearly can't police yourselves because you got out of hand with the way you do things on every level of government. So, you know, <laughs> now you guys should have to be made to disclose every freaking cent that you spend on everything, you know. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I swear, uh, you know, it was a group of. So some reports that are hundreds died some say thousands of students died because they just stood up in front of their you know because the country said this is how it is and we dominate and control you and military they initiated martial law because some guy died they'll look it up but fact is that story's all weird too I don't line up either but um, dude stood in front of a freaking you know uh, tank was like no we don't want this right ended up spending 17 years in prison he goes to prison three days after his son is born so that's you know his son's whole life he missed you know and and now he's like tells a story about how wish he wouldn't have done that you know because all what everything that he saw and they're just right where they are you know because government's control and <laughs> what are we gonna do <laughs> what are we to do so um, but, you know, Dr. Ruth really helped me like myself. I always thought sex was weird, you know? I mean, people put so much emphasis on it. You know, put so much, it's that sense, chasing the sensation thing. You know, and I hated it. I hated, like, I hated myself because I liked girls and God said I was going to hell. This is, this is not what I believe anymore. These are ideologies that society puts on people to make them feel bad and to create division. And this is the stuff, you know, and what June Pride is Gay Pride Month. Quite frankly, it freaking makes my eye twitch every year. It does. Gay Pride. <laughs> because how many freaking people are proud of their sexual preference, but they don't do anything else to be proud of? You know? Respectable people do respectable things, and it has nothing to do with who you go home with at night. Yeah, that's your private stuff, you know? Keep adding letters, L, G, B, Q, T, V, Z, G, B, G. Just, it creates more division, <laughs> you know? So I hit, you know, so it's like, I didn't, uh, but, um, I mean, I knew that I, what I was from the time I was two, three years old, you know? before everybody else figured I was always ahead of the game in some ways, but in a lot of ways I was a little behind the game because people are freaking weird, man. Anyway, you're springing gnarly. Um, so she helped me come, to, you know, get okay with just liking me, you know, and and uh, and I have that, that, that freak, you know, and just, just because I do like, I just do things that aren't freaking jerky. That's a good way to, that's a good measure, you know, but that gay pride thing is just, there's other things to be proud of, you know, there's other things, too many other things than freaking sexuality and sports teams and all that freaking stupid materialistic freaking nonsense. It's just kid stuff. I'm just looking to hang out with the, gro the grown-ups that are in line with their inner children, but not just freaking kid stuff. Um, yeah, for a long time I was like, identified myself as a homophobic homo. Mars the homophobic homo, because I didn't like hanging out with gay people, because the guys were so flamboyant, and the girls were so, you know. 
And so, you know, that wasn't all of them. That was just some of the experiences I had. I've had a lot of experiences. But as I got to good, but, but as you get good with yourself, it doesn't matter what's going on and who you, who you come in contact with. You just you start to believe that things are okay. You start to believe that things are all right. And I started to say, you know, with all this crazy stuff that's going to happen this summer, you know, just don't, unless it's in your neighborhood, don't use so much energy and, you know, just send love when you can. Do not exert so much energy with being distraught about events and things that happen that are, are not in your peripheral because people need to really reserve their energy right now. You know, because you're going to have enough stuff going on in their own lives, in their own backyards. Because this stuff, I mean, all the stuff that is happening, you know, in other people's backyards are going to start happening in our own backyards. So, you know, community is going to take on a new going to do it because what goes around comes around and we keep giving the chance to learn the lessons and, and now it's like the universe is freaking no more nudge the universe is about to freaking knock some folks over um but yeah it took me a long time to get over the fact that I hated myself just because people hated me you know and that's why I, and then I started liking me and I didn't freaking care if other people hated me or not Nope. Um, somebody called Dr. Ruth a Jewish angle, angel. So I thought I'd coin the phrase if she ever hears it. She doesn't like, she's so humble, you know, and that's like a true feminist right now. She doesn't even recognize herself as a feminist, you know. She, so I, I came up, I thought of the word jangle, a Jewish angle, angel. She's a jangle. <laughs> you know, and I think about all the people that she helped make for it to be comfortable because this is what's happening you know people have been made to to be le feel less than because of their sexuality and stuff they like to do hey you like getting your freak on you get your freak on you know you don't get to take from people you don't get to do it to people and without their permission that's the thing is taking somebody's will it's all free will and you don't get to hinder somebody else's spirit by doing it so all that low vibrational stuff I mean People could do all this stuff. It's got to be above board, y'all. And hey, if you can do it with lots of other people and keep your energy field clear and saturated and static free from engaging with other people's energy fields and getting all twisted up with their nonsense too, more power to you. If you figured out how to do that, yeah. <laughs> Let me know how you did it. <laughs> That's about all I got for today. Hope you have a bright day. Peace.